Hello, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I'm going to be walking you through how to record your gift card sales and gift card redemptions in your Shopify store in regard to your bookkeeping. Now this video is kind of a addendum to my other main Shopify video all about my method for recording your Shopify sales and fees in QuickBooks online each month. So um, up in the corner of your screen, you'll see a card and that will take you to that video, which you should probably watch first because um, that's the basis for what we're doing here. Okay, so we're in Shopify and we're gonna go to Analytics, Reports, then we're gonna go to Finances Summary right here. Okay, um, we're gonna be doing the month of October and down here, you'll see that we have down here gift card liabilities and um, gift card sales. And here is our ending balance as of the date we're doing it, um, October 29th. So if we click on here, um, this brings us up a list of what's going on with the gift card. Now, there's lots of things that are happening. First of all, this report will show you your beginning balance any gift cards that you issue. Um, so that's issued as in you didn't sell them, you just gave them. Um, so maybe a prize or a giveaway, something of that nature. Gift cards you sold, gift, gift cards you disabled. So maybe if you issued a prize gift card, it wasn't claimed in a certain amount of time and you disable a gift card. Redeemed, so people using the gift card they have when they check out. Um, refunded value, so if somebody purchased an item with a gift card and then they returned the item, the gift card would be refunded there, and then closing balance, and this is by day. Now this report itself does not have totals at the bottom for each column. So you can either manually add up each column or I downloaded the spreadsheet, I already exported it, so we could actually sum the columns and take a closer look. So here's that same report we just looked at, except that I exported it, and then I summed the columns at the bottom. So let's like a, take a look at what this entry will look like. Now, I tack this entry on the gift card part of the entry after I've done the rest of my regular Shopify entry. So I do my regular Shopify entry from start to finish just as normal. And once again, you'll have to take a look at that other video for that explanation. And then I tack the gift card ins and outs to the end of that entry. So we're just going over that part here today. So one thing that you will need to create, you'll need to create two accounts in QuickBooks in order to do this entry. The first is gift cards issued expense. So that will be an expense type account. Um, the account detail type doesn't matter, just an expense account. And then a gift card liability account. And that can be an other current liabilities account. Um, and the reason, let's talk about gift card liability and what that represents. Every time a customer purchases a gift card, you are committed then to at some later date providing them with something of value. So they give you money, um, they give you money to purchase the gift card. And then you have to fulfill your obligation for that gift card at a later date. So every time you issue a gift card, um, it's going to increase your liability on your books. So it increases the amount that you are going to owe the person um, at a later time. Every time somebody redeems the gift card, it lowers the balance of your gift card liability. You've satisfied that liability. So um, with gift cards being a liability, the credit column increases the balance of the liability that you owe, and the debit column decreases the balance of the liability that you owe. All right, so let's go line by line here on what's happening. 
Issued value is, like I said before, if you're giving people gift cards, but they're not paying for them. So you're promising to give them a value at a later date, but they haven't paid you money um, for that ability. So in that case, what's happening is you're really incurring an expense. It's like if you paid for a prize out of your money, um, but the prize is your gift card. So that's why we're using this gift cards issued expense account. And you'll see here, so this is the account gift card issued expense. And then here in parentheses, I have issued value because that's from this column over here. And you'll see that the colors coordinate as well. So any amounts that you have issued from this first column, you're going to debit them to the gift card issued expense, but you're also going to credit the gift card liability. You're increasing the amount of gift cards that you have to fulfill at a later date. So that line has two parts to the entry. Sold value. So that's when you received cash for a gift card um, that you issued. So in that case, you're increasing the amount of your future gift card liability and we're going to credit gift card liability for $50. This is related to the sold value column. Disabled would be the reverse of gift cards issued. So if you issue a gift card and then you for some reason like close it out, you disable the gift card. That's going to go in reverse. So we have zero in that column. And honestly, that's not going to come up very often, but I wanted to show you. So we're just going to do the opposite, gift card issued expense, but we're going to credit it and gift card liability disabled, we're going to debit it because we're, if we're canceling a gift card, we're decreasing our liability that we will owe to fulfill in the future, our gift card liability. Um, next column is redeemed. Um, so in this case, $356 people used gift cards they'd already purchased to buy product. So that reduces the amount of our gift card liability. And then refunded. So if somebody purchased a product and then with a gift card and then they returned the product, they get gift card amount refunded back to them. So once again, it's almost like it's the same as a sold transaction where you're increasing the amount of your liability owed. And then at the very end, um, after you've done all of this, the balance, because you'll know from other videos, debits and credits and accounting have to agree, is going to go to Shopify holding. And you've already balanced out the first half of your entry like usual, the regular Shopify entry. You've already balanced that to zero, and then you just balance this out um, in the end. And I was going to point out one more thing. Oh, yes. I was going to point out, you'll notice that I'm using the same accounts over and over. I've got gift card liability here, 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 here. And it just goes in and out a bunch of times. The reason why I do it this way is it just helps me work through it in my head what's happening with each line item. The, the plus and the minus of the gift card liability account. You could sum up all of these gift card liability ins and outs and just post either a debit or a credit depending on which way it goes. But I really find a lot of value in just seeing it line by line and then I can match it up to the report later. Um, okay. And normally we would do this as of the end of the month, but I'm just, um, since today's the 29th and I'm creating this video today, I'm just going with that date. All right, so now let's head to QuickBooks. And we, let's see. I, I'm in my sample client here and I've already started the journal entry. So journal entry date I'm saying is 10:31, and these two lines are just representing my Shopify entry I would have already done before. I didn't add all the lines I would usually have. But just think of these two lines as, you know, your regular Shopify entry. So now you'll notice that we have line by line exactly what I outlined in the spreadsheet. We've got our issued expense, which then also increases our gift card liability, just like that. 
we have our gift card sold increased by $50. And then we have our gift card redeemed, $356.13. Once again, those are exactly like what we have here. And the difference to balance goes to Shopify holding. So now I'm going to save this and we're going to look at our balance sheet. because a gift card liability is going to appear on your balance sheet. It's a liability. It's not um, the revenue and the expense part, or the revenue mostly, I should say, of the gift card portion is already being taken care of in your regular Shopify entry. So we're just focusing on the liability portion. Um, so down here in reports, balance sheet, and we're going to do October. Run the report. OK, so here we have our gift card liability, uh, $1,787.96. And let's see, $1,787.96 was the ending balance. 1250.41 was the beginning balance. That was from way up here. So let's take a look at how that looks in the balance sheet. So we can actually click on here. And you'll see we had our beginning balance of 1250.41. Yours won't say opening balance if you've done this month after month. This is just because I needed to put in the beginning balance for our example. And you can see here that. When we sell a gift card, it increases our gift card liability. And when people redeem gift cards, it reduces our gift card liability. When we issue gift cards without payment, then we also increase our gift card liability. So you can see how it all works together and you'll know that you did the gift card portion right if this ending balance agrees to the ending balance here, which you'll remember also agreed to the ending balance here. So it all works together. And like I said, the, the revenue and the cash part of the sale and the redemption of the gift cards, we're already accounting for that in our regular Shopify entry that we draw from right up here. So that is all being taken care of. The, the sale of product, even if it uses a gift card, is being taken care of up here. We just have to adjust for the gift card down there. Okay, so I hope that has been helpful to you. As always, um, if it has been helpful, I'd appreciate your like and subscribe. If you have questions, please leave them down below. I do a pretty good job at answering most questions. All right, have a great day.